So ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the first garden update. It is May 24th, 2011. As you can see here, uh, we have some containers. I attempted the container gardening reality last year and enjoyed it. So I think we're going to play around with uh, some containers again this year. But of note, these first two containers here <clears throat> actually have oregano that decided to come back. I did not remove any of the plants and uh, good to know that it is reappearing. So that's definitely good. I don't think I'm going to keep the oregano that's growing in here. Uh, I have not officially purchased uh, my plants for this season yet. I, want, I needed to wait because the temperature in Michigan has not been uh, very warm. Even at this stage in May. So I'm probably going to uh, wait until this upcoming weekend. But just wanted to show you what is going on with two of the pots from last year that uh, will be producing some nice herb here that I will be drying and using in cooking. So let's bounce over to the uh, raised beds. Oh, before we do that, this is uh, kind of my wife's handiwork here. So gotta have the flowers too, you know? Gotta have the vegetables, the herbs, and the flowers. So let's go over to the raised beds see what's happening over there. Okay, so here we are. And the first raised bed here. These look pretty pitiful right now because uh, this is arugula, by the way, that, uh, again, it's another plant that reappears from the previous season. And, um, I separated them and kind of put them in quadrants here so it would look pretty decent. But uh, so they look a little anemic right now because of that recent transplanting. Let's go over to an incredibly beautiful growth of oregano. I mean, look at this thing is so lush. In fact, I brought out some little shears here because I am going to trim this because I don't want it to start flowering. So I'm going to cut some of this oregano here, most of it, because it will just continue to grow because of the lovely soil that I have crafted, <laughs> amended. Uh, the other thing to mention is my father-in-law actually gave me two celery plants that a friend of his was growing. So I put those in here. I've grown celery before. It's grown in extremely well. So. Uh, We'll see. So those are the two celery plants. Let's move over to the usual tomato box. And again, these are from my father-in-law. I decided to stake them today. Tomatoes are really small. Tomato plants, I should say, are really small. But uh, they will grow. I've been babying the soil along with my composter, the urban composter over here. And um, yeah, so that's the first update of the season. I'm excited for future updates that will take place as soon as I purchase the plants very soon. Thanks guys.